Well, we had a beautiful Sunday today. Eric warned us yesterday that the heat wave isn't going to last, so what can we expect, Eric? Uh, that's right. We had a gorgeous weekend for the most part, and then the rain and thunderstorm chances picked up uh, in the late afternoon, early evening hours. Take a look here at the laps over the past several hours. You can see how they just fired up uh, starting about 6 o'clock towards Winnesheek and Almakee County. They have since pushed its way off towards the east and the northeast. We'll give you the grand tour as to what's going on over towards uh, just south and southwest of Ladysmith, seeing some thunderstorm activity over towards the Stanley area, seeing some as well. Eau Claire, you are now in the clear. Mauston seeing some thunderstorm activity as well, just to the east and northeast of La Crosse, seeing some rain and thunderstorms. Prairie to Sheen seeing some rain at this hour as well. So here's the setup. Let's go ahead and put up our toolbar and uh, we'll take a look here. Uh, at what's going on. Let's try this again. We have an area of low pressure that's in control off towards the west over towards uh, the Aberdeen area. Now we're on the leading edge of this. Now what this means for you and me is this right here. As long as we're on the leading edge of this, the winds are going to stay out of the south and that's what's going to keep those temperatures in the 70s again for tomorrow. We'll get on the back end of this as we go into your Tuesday. That's going to cause the winds to shift with highs going from the 70s the highs going back into the upper 40s, low 50s. Outside right now, we're still seeing a little bit of rain across the Cooley region. A few little flickers of lightning being picked up on the city cam at this hour. We're sitting at 70. Uh, dew points at 59. We're at 68 degrees at the TV station. Winds are out of the south southeast at 17 miles per hour. Made it to 79 after a morning start of 60. The 60 on the low end for the most part is where we should be for the high end this time of year of 58. That 70 was just off the charts for the 79, I should say. 84 was the record high. That was set back in 1899. 1895 was the record low, and that was 17 degrees. Now, when you wake up in the morning, temperatures in the 60s from top to bottom will greet you mid 60s towards La Crosse as well as Sparta. Black River Falls, you'll make it to 63, 64, Eau Claire, 66, Red Wing, 62, Rochester, 63 in Preston. We're going to keep the rain and thunderstorm chances in the forecast for Monday. We'll get a little bit of a break across the area in the morning and early afternoon hours. Some places won't see that break. Some places will. Now the rain becomes more garden variety as we go into Monday afternoon going into the evening hours and highs again. We're going to be in the upper 60s to low 70s. Now the details of the first alert forecast for the evening and overnight hours. There you go, 65 degrees, scattered thunderstorms not out of the question. The wind will start to increase uh, out of the south at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Some places seeing gusts as high as 40 miles per hour. Tomorrow, we'll start the day off with temperatures in the upper 60s. By noon, we go to 72, and you can see that precip chance increase in the afternoon and early evening hours yet again. That takes us into the next eight days. After tomorrow, we go back into the 50s, 54 for Tuesday, upper 50s for Wednesday and Thursday. Then we stay in the 50s and keep the rain chances in the forecast until we get into Sunday and Monday of next week. So the bottom line, Emily, I hope you enjoy the 70s. I hope you enjoy the sunny skies because now Mother Nature is coming back in saying, hey, no, it's still fall. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, Thanks, Eric. You bet.